I told my friends like five minutes ago, well no, like 20 minutes ago, I was leaving within five minutes. And I definitely have not done that because you know, I'm supposed to be getting ready for the Super Bowl, but instead I am filming this video because I gotta work. So here we go, let's talk about what is a budget. Pretty much, you know what, let's move past that. How do you create a budget? TJ back with another video talks with TJ aka TJ two swoosh chains aka running late for uh, you know my friend's house that I'm supposed to go to so what's going on hopefully everybody had a good Sunday all things you know taken into account hopefully you had a good Sunday uh, I do hope that you had a chance to relax before another busy week starts and I know for me the weeks are always insane so hopefully this starts everything out pretty well for you today is a Tuesday so what is going on uh, if you are already subscribed, let's rock together in the comment section. If you are not subscribed, please make sure that you go ahead and subscribe, then enter all of the, you know, enter the 10K giveaway. All the steps are below. So I'm definitely gonna make an effort to keep this one short, right? So I don't have any, there's no B-roll, there's no, there's no clothes, there's no shoes to show you. So this is a follow-up. Remember I did the video of what is an actual budget and then why having one is important, right? You wouldn't go about trying to get shoes without any uh, knowledge of, you you know what the shoe is when it's dropping and what ways are you able to cop the shoe and then making sure you do the necessary footwork right so I would love for you to always do the same when it comes to your money have a budget have a plan of how you <laughs> will choose to actually uh, allocate those funds so if you have no idea how to actually create a budget on your own guess what every single video um, in the actual description box I do give the details of how you can request my free ebook so that's right I did write a budgeting ebook so it's how to build a set budget by yours truly uh, kind of the subtitle of that is living for today and planning for tomorrow while enjoying the little things the little things being sneakers and clothes and whatever else okay planning for tomorrow so having savings or 401k and then making sure that you are taking care of today because stuff is always going to need your attention when it comes to money so if you have zero idea how to create a budget, well, if you go through my book and it's not very long, people, it's 42 pages. I think we can read 42 pages, okay? Um, it actually will go through. So there you go. What the heck is a budget? It does pop up in the book, but it gives you a starting point. So it starts with the first four. Now, I'm a big sports fan. So yes, I did that as a play off of the final four. So the first four that you always need to worry about when you are creating a budget is the roof over your head. That does include the utilities that you need to make sure that it continues to run. You know, we don't need the first world problems or frustrations of not having AC because that's how I am okay I need air conditioning central air at that not just air in one room make sure that you're taking care of transportation so that you can get to and from the job that helps pay the bills I don't care if it's an uber because some people really do just uber and lyft to where they need to go if it's public transit if you're in a busy city and you have the option to use that that can be nice or if you have your own vehicle make sure that you're taking care of maintenance and all costs associated with your vehicle so gas insurance then make sure there's food on the table okay do not go hungry because you have you know the other things that you think are important okay make sure that you're eating and always try to make you know have that be balanced I'm not about to go into what your diet should be but make sure that that's balanced and then you should also make sure that you are taking care of you know I would I would say the clothes on your back all right so that doesn't mean going out and splurging, okay? That's not what that means. Uh, but you know, I, I, I rope in the clothes and everything, but that will usually, I mean, Close to me, okay, I guess I'll say is roped in under just taking care of yourself, but you can split up the utilities because utilities can be different, right? Like for, um, if you are a student, okay, you may definitely need access to the internet, but not cable. So utilities may just be gas, electric, water, and internet. It may just be that. But if you are uh, actually reading my book, uh, this is what the graphic will look like when you are reading up on what are the very first four, okay? So number one, rent, mortgage, payment, groceries, utilities, and then vehicle, transportation. So those are the very first things that you start out with. So how to create a budget? Very, very simple. You need to take whatever the amount is, and you can look at the graphic. <laughs> You're going to take whatever the amount is that you are taking home for the month, and then you need to plan out, literally write out or type out, I don't care how you do it, what your fixed expenses will be. So those things you have to make sure that you take care 
care of and usually are you know a standard cost or around the same each month and then you need to go ahead and put down those items that are still relative to your life but they can vary and this will be so different for every single last one of us even if you have people that live in the exact same house together they can still have very individual needs for their own budget versus yours so please keep that in mind but you always start with whatever your income is going to be and that's your take-home pay and then you break it down for everything that you need and then you have left and want to do for the month the goal is to have a zero at the very bottom so once you have what you're going to bring home subtract everything that you have written out as an expense and that final number should be zero it should total zero because you should give a purpose you should have some category for every single dollar that may sound very type a and very ridiculous to you but guess what it means you know where your money's going you know exactly how it's working for you you know how you're using it in a way that is beneficial in every way you know in every way to your life so you need to make sure that things in your household are taken care of you need to make sure you pay your minimum debt payments because you signed on the dotted line so take care of your responsibilities you need to make sure that you're putting some money aside you know for savings please make sure that you're planning for those things that happen during the year that you know are going to happen that's registration for your vehicles and christmas and birthdays and other major holidays uh, the kids back to school you know those are things that you know are going to happen and then whatever else the whole point of a set budget is to also treat yourself so factor in wanting to treat yourself whether it's buying clothes you know this is an eight and nine shirt uh, that they sent over to me so whether it's buying clothes whether it is doing sneaker pickups whether you want to go to the movies go out to eat go get your hair cut go get your hair done go get a mani a pedi any of those things please just make sure that you're planning for them so it's very simple how to create a budget you guys if you still need more guidance you can request my budgeting ebook below all you have to do is email me and just put literally budget ebook in the title and I will get back to you and get that copy out to you all right so thank you again for tuning into this video it's a short one. Hope you have an amazing day. As always, act your age, not your shoe size. Peace out.